compensate for this, the process is slightly adjusted. You are still going to fold the bottom corner of the page to the bottom of the line, and you are going to fold the top corner of the page all the way down to the top of the one section that you are currently folding. So in my case, it's the bottom of the E, so I am folding it all the way down to the top of the bottom section. Just making sure it's lined up and creased. Your next fold will be, well, yes, you have to, to a tally mark so you keep track of how many you've done. And your next fold, you'll fold the bottom corner of the page up to the bottom of the middle section of the E, or whatever letter you choose to fold. This is only if your fold splits. If you have a letter such as L, you will not have to do something like this. But then you'll fold the top corner of the page to the top of the middle section of the E. As you may guess, the next section, you fold the bottom corner of the page to the bottom of the top section of the E. Again, or whatever letter you choose to fold. Then in the top corner, you'll fold to the top of the line. You'll keep repeating this process until you are done with until you have accounted for all of the lines of your fold. Remember, you only have to split it up if your template splits. If you have a letter such as L or any other letter that does not split, you do not have to worry about this. So I'm just going to keep repeating this, folding bottom, then middle, then top. Bottom, then middle, then top. It was at this point when I reached the point that was 28 pages from the back of the book where I decided that I would end the book, end my letter fold, and start once again with a combination fold to finish it out as I did in the beginning of the book. 
As a reminder, the combination is a half fold and then a triangle fold. Now, if your last page before you started with the letter was a half fold, then you should start your first fold of the end section with a combination fold so that it flows. You don't have to do this, this is just something I like to do. But it's just a half fold and a combination fold repeated until you get to the end of the book. When you are done, it should look something like this. As you can see, the E is in the middle of the fold. Thank you, and feel free to DM me on my Instagram account at Emily Johnson Gold Award if you have any questions about this or my project in general.